Welcome to another session with The Technologist. That's me, part of the TCAPS loop, keeping you updated on advancements in PowerSchool, Google Classroom, and all the tools you use every day. So one of the things we've been hearing about is the need to check attendance from within the gradebook and not have to keep coming back here to open attendance and checking it that way. There is a solution for that, and I want to take a minute to show you what that looks like. I'm going to go into my Power Teacher Pro for my 12th grade English language arts class. Here I am, I'm looking at my assignments, and I know that today, for example, I had a couple students who are absent for the quiz. So let me open that assignment. And you'll notice there's a couple scores down here with an A code on it. That is for absent, and you'll see over here in the score inspector, the green button that says absent. You'll see that one is a zero and one is blank. I'll show you why that is. In order to check a student's attendance, I could go all the way back to the start page of PowerSchool and check attendance there. But I don't need to do that. I can click on the student's name within the score sheet, then use this drop down menu to go to Quick Lookup Traditional. And here I have attendance for the last two weeks. I'm concerned about this attendance, and that shows me that that was an unverified absence. So when I click back on my browser twice, once to get back to her total course grades, once more to get back to that score sheet, I can then enter that score as a zero since I know it was unverified and I'll click save and that change will be saved. My second student who was absent, same thing, I click on his name, I select quick look up traditional and I see that that is an illness and that is an excused absence. So when I go back, I will leave that as a blank space and he can make that up. If this other absence gets excused, then I will change that grade. But that's a quick way to be able to check attendance from within the gradebook for each student. If the attendance is older than two weeks, you're going to need to go back to PowerSchool, then open up the multi-day attendance screen, select the date range that you're looking for, click update, and then find the student and the day and whether or not that student was excused. Hopefully the method that I just shared with you will save you some time when you're grading and having to check attendance for things like excused or unverified. Keep up with the loop with all of our tips, tricks, and useful information that we provide to try to make your job easier.